Welcome back to Gulls Cry University Lesson 2. I'm Aaron Sokol and in this video I'm going to guide you through preparing photos for the Gulls Cry. Open up Adobe Photoshop Go to File, Open, and find a photo you want to put in your newspaper layout. When you see it, double click on it to open it up in Photoshop. Unless you're printing this in color, every image needs to be converted to grayscale before you place it into a newspaper layout. This will keep it from accidentally being printed in color and wasting a lot of our sponsor's money. To convert to grayscale, Go to Image, Mode, Grayscale, and click Discard. Now go to Image, Adjustments, Levels. I'll click and drag on the top of this box to get it out of the way so we can see what we're doing. These sliders allow you to adjust the brightness of the image, or you can click inside these boxes and just enter a value. I typically only use this middle value and start out at about 1.5 just to get me in the ballpark range. Now you can play with the sliders to get the values where you want it. You'll want to make your images lighter than you think they need to be because images are typically a lot darker in the gulls cry than they look on the computer screen. Hit OK when the image looks the way you want it. Go to File, Save As, name the file so you can recognize it later. And then save it at the highest possible quality. Now let's walk through all that again with a different picture. Go to File, Open, find a picture. Image, Mode, Grayscale, Discard. This image doesn't need to be lightened up quite as much as the last one because we'd lose too much detail. So let's go back to Image, Adjustments, Levels. Move the levels around to get an idea of, of what looks right for, to you. If I change the value in this box, it will give me a preview of what the image will look like with that value. I'm going to settle at about 1.1 and click OK. Go to File, Save As, name your file. Click Save. Again, let's save it at the highest possible settings. Now, you can change what type of file your image will be saved as under this format drop down arrow. Most of your photos you'll be working on will be JPEGs, and it's okay to save them as JPEGs again. Make sure you choose the highest quality in this option box that comes up. When you click save, you can just drag the slider all the way to the right and click OK. Now, I'm going to show you how I can make a standard size mugshot picture of a Gulls Cry staff writer so I can keep a consistent style throughout the paper layout. Open up a picture of a staff writer in Photoshop. This is John Doe, and we want to place a picture of his face at the beginning of his article. Make a new file by going to File, New, give your file a name. In the Width and Height measurement area, we want to change the measurement units by clicking this drop down and clicking on Inches. Print dimensions are measured in inches, so that's what we'll want to use. Change both the width and the height to 1.2 inches. We want the resolution to be high. I'm going to set it at 300, which is pretty good quality. 
click OK and your blank document is created. Click on the Documents tab and drag it right out of it. This brings it out so we can look at more than one image at the same time. Move this out of the way so you can access more than one image at a time. Now do the same thing to our staff writer's picture so we can have them side by side. Move this one out of the way so we can see our toolbar. Click on this tool at the top of the bar to select it. This is called the Move Tool. Click and drag inside the staff writer's picture to drag it into the new document. We can click and drag to move it around inside our new document, but we need to shrink it down some to fit John's whole head inside our frame. So click on this little icon with the magnifying glass on it, and that will give us the zoom tool. Click to the left of the X on our frame to make it fill up the whole screen. Hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and click a few times on the image to zoom way out. Now hold down the Control key and press T on the keyboard. You'll see a box around the image. This box is what's going to help us scale the image down. Place your cursor up in the corner, hold the shift key, and drag down at an angle. Click inside the box to move the image around, and this is how to fit something inside a frame in Photoshop. Keep holding shift and dragging from the corner to keep resizing your image. Holding shift keeps the proportions on your image so it doesn't look all stretched and wonky after you resize it. When you're done scaling and fitting the image, click that box next to the X again to get back to the normal workspace. And click the Move tool to make the box go away and click Apply to confirm your changes. Click on the Zoom tool again and click on the image to zoom back in. And make sure the image is grayscaled by going to Image, Mode, and making sure that grayscale has that check next to it. To put the finishing touches on this image, we're going to go back to Image, Levels, and lighten the image up if necessary. In this case, I'm going to try 1.5 again on the middle level here. Then I'll bring it down to see how these lower values look. I'm happy with 1.5 for this picture, so I'm going to leave it there and click OK. Save your image. And that is the basics of working with newspaper images for the Gulls Cry. In the next lesson, we'll look at creating headers in Photoshop.